Hi everyone. Happy New Year 2022. Um, I know it's been a while since I've done a video. I've been making pendants for my family since my mother passed away. I took flowers from her grave and I took them apart and I tried different things to cut them. Um, I tried Mod Podge and I tried um, punching them out with, with punchers like this, which was very hard to do. It would not work real well. And then the other night I had a dream <laughs> and I came in here and this is what I'm doing now. And you cut your flower apart each petal. I hope I'm in the frame. And I will get this. Yeah. I'll get this so I can cut them out. Uh, I mean, stick them on here with no problem. And I'll explain it after I do it. My camera's moving. I'm so sorry. Let's see if that'll work. Okay. So what I do is I get these self-adhesive Avery. They come in a pack from Amazon. They're 9 by 12 and they're a pack of 50. And I cut a square. I actually cut two squares, but I cut a square that's um, three by three. They're in inches, so it's three inch. And that way the pebble, you have plenty of room for it. Well, there's a little trick to getting this plastic off because it is not real easy to do. And I kind of stick the pebble on here best I can. And I just take scotch tape. I think my camera moved again. And I take just a little piece of scotch tape on the corner and I press it down. And all you do is lift up and look at there. So easy to take that off. <laughs> not fighting with it. And what I do is I make kind of like a, I kind of bend both edges up and I just press it down. And then I take my Cricut and take the tape. Well, you know what? It'll hold it. So I roll it real flat, just as flat as I can get it. See there? I mean, that is real smooth. And there's, there's something behind my madness here. <laughs> and see how flat that is versus this real, you know, unmanageable piece. It's just too hard to handle that way or to cut or anything. But then you can, this is a smaller one. Um, I had some larger ones. Here we go. This is a larger leaf. And see how that just cut that out with no trouble. But what I do is I turn it over and I do the other side. Well, I thought, I don't want any more big ones like this. I mean, it's really pretty. See there? I mean, it's got a design on it and everything. It's just so pretty. But um, they're too big for what I'm wanting. What I'm wanting is to put it in a pendant like this. And so what I did, instead of putting the, um, 
the other piece on on the back side and having plastic on both sides so it would cut better is I put it like this in my brother's skin and cut and I uh, got this little butterfly and I used the We Are Memory Keeper foil quill and used gold and I don't know if you can see that but it just oh it's so pretty <laughs> it is really really pretty but uh, you can see the design in it and I'll try to edit this and do a close-up of that butterfly and once you do the butterfly then you put the other part onto it and you can cut it out using the brother skin and cut and now I have smaller pieces that will fit into the pendant for myself I've done everybody's but mine and I'm gonna put it in here like this but I'm gonna put a backer on it so it'll show up and I've cut little hearts they're tiny so I may try to do a heart too but see there's little hearts and I'm going to put that in there and put the glass dome on it and resin it on there and I'll have a memory and this was from my mother's flowers off of her grave so I'll have it forever then but I just had a hard time trying to get something cut out because the um, also what I done is I hand cut flowers pebbles were easy to do and they're real tiny but I cut little pebbles out like this and I formed I put a bottom on and then I put my uh, glued each pebble onto that little round that's a hole punch glitter paper and I had it facing up and I put glue on it and put every uh, each pebble on there and so that helped me get the flower design done and this is what it end up turning to be and that light's gonna shine on it I'm sorry but I put like a um, Christmas ornament hangers or you can use them for other things uh, to hang stuff on and I did a tag this one says beautiful memories of our grandmother always treasured forever in our hearts and on the back is my mother's date of birth and uh, the day she passed away and um, each one had one of these on it and they can either hang it on the Christmas tree as you know a remembrance or they can take it off of here and wear it they'd have to put clear fingernail polish on it to keep it from turning but um, you know it's just something I wanted to do for for all the grandchildren not great-grandchildren just the grandchildren and now I'm making my own and I come up with this a little late but uh, you know this this worked out better because the butterfly is still too big and it wouldn't fit in there and you can't go much smaller than this or it won't cut it it won't uh, do the foiling and it won't cut it right so you know you do the best you can I will stop the video do it and come back and finish up the video be right back I've got it over to my brother's skin and cut and as you see I'm using my really old mat this is an old one and we're gonna skin it first and I just want to retrieve a pattern I hope you can see this I'm not sure I don't have the light on over here but it's from the machine 
and I'm going to go all the way down all right and this is the one I want right here and I'm going to put it in and scan it and I have everything right so it's just asking me about the depth of this and if you have one you understand that if not you can ask me and I will tell you what it's doing but it's only scanning this so we'll know where the pebble is and all right there's our pebble so we can edit this enlarge it and I'm gonna go up to 200% because I may have to make this one a little smaller I'm hoping not but it'll only get one in it okay I need to put in my coil the we are memory I'm usually straight in front of it, so <laughs> you have to excuse me. And I've got a sheet of per, uh, paper on here to protect my mat from this foil. So I'm going to lay that over that, and you've got to tape it down. And I'm just going to use good old scotch tape. Nothing fancy. I have a word. Well, we'll try it this way first. I get this scotch tape from the Dollar Tree in a pack of, I think it's three for a dollar. So that's a pretty good price. Look for it when you're at the Dollar Tree. All right. Now, we'll hit OK. I hope that's showing. And I don't want to edit anything. I'll hit OK. I don't want to add. And you have to select. And I'm going to hit Draw. And I have the speed on 2 and the pressure on 1. It will be 0. So I, I put up my pressure a little bit and uh, the, I slow the speed down. I think the speed is normally three or I, something like that. You'll, you'll, you would see it. And I'm gonna hit go. I'm going to try to take it off. i got a lot of tape on there. That's to keep it from moving. There we, there we go. Do the plastic side. And just peel that off. And I'm going to curve it like I did last time. And I need to use my... And you want to mash that down where it's good and solid on there. We're through with this, which it would re remind you, but I'm going to take that out. But we need to put in our blade. Okay, so we're done. And what we're going to do is hit OK. Well, I want to... No, I don't. I changed my mind. Okay. Okay. And you have to hit select 
and you're going to cut this time. All right. And you just hit start. It's only going to take a minute. Okay. There we go. And it cut it out, fold it, cut it out, and everything. So we're good. That come out real pretty. No, you can't. Now you can. See there? And that, uh, fold it, and then you, it's, you know, got plastic on both sides. It's protected, and it'll last forever. <laughs> but I have those saved, so I can, you know, make as many as I need. But that is all. That's what I wanted to show you. See, that fits perfect in there. And I'll put other things with it. It is a little bit darker. This is the light gold over here. And this is more of a rose gold full. So it works out if you have a loved one you can take their uh, flower pebbles, take them apart, and you can mod podge and do it on a uh, like a a big shot or uh, some type of die cut machine like that, and it will cut them. And it will also cut them like this, but I've just not found one small enough to do what I was wanting to do. So uh, anyway, that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll put this together and try to get it up on my YouTube soon. God bless each of you. Stay safe, keep crafting, and bye for now.